Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke, your friend from Curdo's. I am not in Curdo's right now. I'm in the new playground, which we've affectionately dubbed the Ring of Fire. Much, much more to come on that. Um, but I want to take this chilly, chilly late October day. We're in the middle of Grilltoberfest right now. And grill sales are rocking and rolling here, continuing into the fall. And um, a trend that I have noticed since the summer, keep on keeping on. Ceramic grill sales, my Kamados, my Primos, my Kamado Joes, my Calibers, not ceramic, stainless, but the Kamado style grill, which industry pundits will tell you their sales are dipping because of the onslaught of the pellet grill. Well, we here at Curdo's Ring of Fire are seeing something different, okay? Uh, pellet grill sales, always going to be strong. Can't beat the convenience of the pellet grill. Um, plenty of videos about that and more to come. But the ceramic grill is very near and dear to me because this is really, the Kamado Joe was the first one that I really wrapped my arms around when we began this outdoor voyage about four plus years ago. And I will, um, I will absolutely uh, state this on video and stand behind this comment that I, I'm asked this question a lot. You know, if you had to choose one grill out of everything, what would you have? And I firmly believe that I would have a Kamado style grill, whether it was a Primo or a Kamado Joe, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but I would take one of those cookers above a gas grill and probably above a pellet grill as well. Um, the, the bottom line is that on the Kamado style grills, you can do anything. I've heard some of my customers continue to call them smokers, and that is basically selling them short. They do far more than smoking. The versatility for a Kamado style ceramic grill, um, or again, we'll throw in the caliber or the blaze as well. Those are made of stainless or aluminum. You can do anything with these grills. Um, you can bake, grill, sear, smoke, roast. We even use them at home as a s'mores uh, machine uh, for my kids. You open it up, you got the log, the fire going on in there, the charcoal. It's all good. There is nothing simply nothing that beats cooking over a live fire and that is something you are not going to get in the pellet world some of the pellet grills and by the way I, I, I can speak very matter-of-factly about this because and I'm not bragging it's just a simple fact we have the largest pellet grill portfolio in the entire Northeast we sell Traeger we sell Yoder we sell Memphis we sell Pitts and Spitz so we are neck deep in pellet um, but the majority of those grills do not allow you to cook over a live fire, which to me is very important. Most of my pellet grill business are folks that are buying them as smokers, using them as an adjunct to whatever heavy heat uh, you know, producing machine they may have, whether it's a high-end gas grill like an Alfresco, a Lynx, a DCS, or um, uh, they're, they're teaming it with the Kamado and using the Kamado more for grilling. So different ways to do that. But I firmly believe that the pellet grills, because of the indirect nature of their cooking system, are challenged for grilling. And I, I know you can buy grill grates and throw them on the aluminum grates, and we sell them, and I appreciate that. But I'm not really, you know, I don't want to have to buy all these aftermarket things uh, to be able to make this product a rocking, rolling, versatile grilling machine. I mean, it's just not where I want to go with it. At least I know out of the box, the Kamado Joe or the Primo or any of these other Kamado style grills can basically, they can do it all. Um, including, uh, you can use them with a rotisserie, which is just total game changing, next level uh, cooking action. Best chicken I've ever tasted. Uh, spinning on a uh, Kamado Joe on the Jotisserie a few years ago. And why? Because we're cooking over fire. We're cooking over charcoal or wood. It's a totally different experience than doing that over gas or doing it over a metal plate with pellets burning underneath it. So I'm certainly not taking the position here where I'm trying to disparage pellet. That may be the way this is coming across. It's not. I've got a Traeger store within a store here at the Ring of Fire. Um, again, our, pre our pellet grill portfolio is deeper, wider than anybody else out there. Um, I love pellet grills, but I'm just saying that, you know, 
I, I want to debunk this notion out there that Kamados are like falling off a cliff in sales. The Kamado Joe, the Primo, I'm sure a few big green egg dealers, and I don't know what you're seeing, but the egg is still very popular. Um, don't sleep on the ceramic. It's that simple. Um, if there are any questions, please email, call me, Kamado Joe, Primo, Caliber. We ship them all over the country if need be. For you local customers, come in. You could even test drive one. Um, big sale going on this month, Grilltoberfest. Big savings to be had. Thank you so much. Emails, Jonathan at Curtos.com. We'll see you soon at the Ring of Fire.